Good evening. It's Wednesday night. We begin with breaking news here tonight. Another act of chaotic violence at a SEPTA bus stop. Eight teenagers shot late today, targeted as they waited to go home from school. Police say this latest act of violence unfolded right here just before three o'clock at Cotman and Rising Sun Avenues at Burr Home. We're told three gunmen jumped out of a car, unleashing dozens of bullets into a crowd of kids. Tonight, city police, SEPTA police and the mayor vowing a citywide crackdown to stem this onslaught of violence. We've got team coverage here tonight. Action News is John Paul spoke with people who jumped into action after the shots were fired. Annie McCormick with more on SEPTA's new police tactics uh, amid this surge in shooting. But let's begin here tonight with Brianna Smith live at the scene with the latest from police who moments ago gave us an update. Brianna. Brian, a really heart, heartbreaking situation here tonight, especially for the parents of those eight victims. Now, police are starting to clear the scene, but the shooting unfolded behind me near that Dunkin' Donuts. Police say eight students from Northeast High School were waiting for the bus on Rising Sun Avenue when they were shot. They say surveillance video shows a vehicle was waiting on the side of the Dunkin' Donuts around 3 p.m. When the bus showed up, three suspects got out of that car and shot more than 30 times into the crowd, hitting those students. Students. Now they range in age from 15 to 17 years old. One student is in critical condition while the others are in stable condition at the hospital. Police say the three shooters escaped in a dark blue Hyundai Elantra with paper tags. All of them are wearing masks and were last seen going over Tookney Creek Bridge. Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel is outraged by yet another shooting with several young victims. It's hard to sit here and see in three days that I have 11, year, 11 juvenile shot who are going and coming from school. The cowardly acts that we've seen over the last three days are unacceptable. The fact that we, let, we have this situation where we're, I've talked about it multiple times, the downstream impact when we do not address gun violence and we do not address guns is what we see the death. The people of this city know that we will not be held hostage, that we will use every legal tool in the toolbox to ensure the public health and safety of the people of our city. Yes, Mayor Sherelle Parker says every law enforcement resource will be used and readily available to solve these recent crimes, including police, SEPTA, ATF, and the district attorney. The school district of Philadelphia superintendent echoes that statement and says they're heartbroken and angry by what happened today. He says counseling will be available to students and staff who need it at school tomorrow. Now, the commissioner says this is an active and ongoing investigation. They're trying to find those suspects, determine the motive, and see if it's connected to that shooting that happened on Monday, that day deadly shooting where a 17-year-old was shot and killed near a SEPTA bus stop. Reporting live in Burholm, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Yeah, it's more than sad. It's sickening, and the entire city is sick of it. Brianna, thank you. Let's bring Action News' is John Paul, uh, also at the scene tonight. John, you spoke to some people at a diner uh, nearby where this happened. I understand they rendered aid until ambulances could arrive. Brian, that's exactly right. They wanted to do what they could, and they helped out. Now, Brian, we mentioned that two buses were hit. This is one of them. It's just about a block and a half from the scene. Take a look there. You see a bullet hole in the window. There's also one just to the left of that at the top of this door. Now, when the uh, gunfire started, started going off, the 30 or so bullets, people heard that, and they started running some away. Others ran toward the scene. And there's a diner just down the street on the corner. It's called Quaker's Diner. One of the people working there ran over to where the people had been hit, and she saw kids bleeding on the ground. She tried to do what she could. She jumped into action. I want you to hear what she told me. There was a kid laying there in the street. He was, um, he was shot in his back, like right here at his spine. And uh, I, I put pressure on it. There's a lady on the phone with 911 telling him, because he was sitting up, they told him to lay on his belly so we could stop the blood, hold, put pressure on the blood. So I did that. And then she went, I looked over and there was four other kids laying down bleeding, but two, two of them had two gunshots. And I think the other ones just had like one each. Um, there was only one that was like really bad. I hope he makes it. His friend was sitting there holding him and crying. Just a horrific scene that she saw. She'll never forget that. Now, we also know that they offered help to the other kids who were trying to get away. Some of them went into that diner, and they kept them safe there. Brian, you know, they say in these situations, 
you got to look for the helpers, and in this case, they did what they could. Live in Burholm, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Yeah, and this is the reality those kids are living with and the, what they have to sleep with uh, tonight, John. Thank you. As we said, today's shooting was the fourth to play out on or near a SEPTA bus uh, in just the last week. This map here shows where it's all happened. As the mayor just said, 11 teenagers have been either targeted or caught in the crossfire in just the last 24 hours. And just this morning, before this shooting today, SEPTA vowed a renewed effort to confront the violence head on. And so we turn to Action News reporter Andy McCormick. Annie, frankly, it can't happen fast enough. Yeah, and this morning during that news conference, law enforcement talked about a more aggressive approach. That was in response to three fatal shootings that happened three days in a row, on, either on a SEPTA bus or around a bus stop. We're going to use every legal means at our disposal to target illegal gun possession on SEPTA. SEPTA's police chief today addressing enforcement on the transit line in light of recent fatal shootings on buses or near bus stops. When the law provides for our officers the ability to protect themselves through frisks, through learning if individuals are armed, we are going to do that. The chief says moving forward, there will be greater enforcement of fare evaders, riders disobeying the mask ban, and open drug use. SEPTA boasts thousands of cameras on their system. According to police, half of their fleet currently has the ability to share video in real time, something they are expanding. They call a pilot program to recruit retired law enforcement to man real-time cameras successful. Tuesday evening at Broad and Snyder, a gunman exited a bus and fired into the bus, killing a passenger he had a disagreement with. The gunman was wearing a face covering, but he wasn't prevented from entering the bus. Riders can report suspicious activity discreetly through the SEPTA app. Philadelphia police also on hand today. We're going to increase what we call SEPTA checks. Uh, so if somebody sees a patrol officer board a bus, there's nothing wrong. In most cases, he's just checking with the driver. And for SEPTA employees, mental health resources are available. We offer numerous services to try to help employees um, cope and navigate through these recent events um, and the fears that they may have. And Brian SEPTA also talking today about expanding those real-time cameras on board of their buses. For now, reporting live outside of SEPTA headquarters, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Annie, thank you for that update. Of course, this is a developing story. We encourage you to head to 6abc.com, follow all the developments tonight with respect to that shooting today and the changes SEPTA is implementing, for that matter, the entire police force citywide is implementing to combat gun violence in Philadelphia.